Good morning, everybody. Or maybe it's the afternoon or the evening from whenever you're watching this, but you got to hear this. Colossians chapter 3, starting with verse 12. Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, rule in your hearts, not just, you know, hang out, but rule, to which indeed you were called in one body. Well, I managed to get out of my house and come down here to my co-working spot at the EFCA West World Headquarters in downtown Phoenix. And uh, it's really just, you should see my office. It's actually, it's smaller than my closet at home. But this is just a killer spot. There's a bunch of actually uh, even other churches and nonprofits and other businesses that kind of share this space here right in the heart of downtown Phoenix. And it's a joy to be able to just come down here again and get out a little bit. But hey, I wanted to talk to you about a couple things. I was on with the church multiplication team. We were on a little uh, Zoom call today and someone brought up the point that um, it's got to be, it's got to be very difficult especially right now, for those of you leading churches. Um, and so make sure you're taking care of yourself, making sure that you are experiencing the joy of the Lord in your own life as you are carrying these heavy burdens for your congregation. And we're here praying for you. I want to give you a couple quick details. You'll see them in the email, but we're going to take a break from our Wednesday workshop. Um, this week, we're not going to have one. However, this Thursday, Bob Osborne's going to have a student ministries collective. So if you, if you know a student ministries um, volunteer or pastor, director, whatever, um, and, and please let them know about this. Forward this email on to them. Tell them to register. It's been a really amazing experience that we've had student ministry leaders from all over our district on who have been sharing ideas and comparing notes and encouraging each other. That same day, so that's going to be um, 2 p.m. Um, Pacific, 3 p.m. Mountain. Then that same day, Thursday, June 18th, at 5.30 p.m. Pacific and 6.30 Mountain, we're going to have a Spanish speaking um, Zoom call regarding how to make a quality Sunday experience um, online. So we're gonna try to help our Spanish speaking pastors and leaders figure that out. And so make sure that if you speak Spanish or you know someone who speaks Spanish, that you are there for that because it's gonna be very, uh, it's, uh, I'm excited about the content they're gonna have there. But next Wednesday, the 24th of June, we're going to, we're, I don't have a title for it yet, but it's going to be something to the effect of how to reach the other and how to help other people reach the other in our lives, the person who's different from us. You know, as we've learned from Cedric Brown, the conversations we've had and just as talking with each other, the key is building relationships at the, at the one-on-one -on -one level. That's how we're going to begin to, at, at the grassroots level, with the gospel, begin to bring healing and hope and actually make a difference in our communities. I don't know about you, but this is an exciting time to be alive because we are right in the middle of massive societal convulsing and God has chosen you to be in the center of it all with the message that transforms lives. So be, be ready, please put that on your calendar. We're, as always, we are here for you to talk about anything, to talk about life, church, family, marriage, whatever. We want you to be strong and healthy as you bring the gospel to your town. Thanks so much for all you do. God bless.